Hello everyone. In today's video, we have another interesting geometry challenge in front of us. We have a right angle triangle ABC where B is the right angle and we have D, E, F these points such that AD is equal to AE and CE is equal to CF. We need to find the value of the angle X. Before we proceed to the solution, if you like my content, please do subscribe to my channel. And here we go to the solution. First of all, I would like to name this angle AED as angle A. I will name this as angle A. If this is A, then we know that this angle ADE will also be A because of the property of isosceles triangles, right? We know that in isosceles triangles, uh, two sides are equal and then two opposite angles will also be equal, isn't it? We are using that property here. Uh, and uh, in the same way, if I name this angle CEF, if I name this angle CEF as angle B, then we know that using the same property of isosceles triangles, this angle F, that is CFE, will also be B. Okay. Now, first of all, I will take triangle ADE. I will apply angle sum property to this triangle. We know that in a triangle, sum of three interior angles is always 180 degree. So angle A plus angle D plus angle E, right? These three angles will add up to 180 degree. I will write angle A as it is. Angle D is A and angle E also is A, right? Small letter A. So we'll write A plus A here equal to 180 degree and uh, we have angle a plus a plus a is 2a this is equal to 180 degrees so we get angle a is equal to 180 minus 2a so we can say that the measure of this angle over here this angle a right is equal to 180 minus 2a now i would like to take triangle cef and apply angle sum property in this triangle. So in angle in triangle CEF, angle C plus angle E plus angle F is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. What is angle C? I will, I don't know angle C. I'll write it as it is. Uh, angle E is B. Angle F also is B. So we'll write B plus B here equal to 180 degrees. So we have angle C plus 2B equals 180 degrees so angle C will be equal to 180 minus 2B so the measure of this angle over here that is this angle C will be 180 minus 2B okay and in the figure you can also see that this angle A right angle A X and B they form a linear pair, isn't it? They add up to 180 degree. So from here, we can get one useful result that A plus X plus B, right? A, X and B, these three angles, their sum will be equal to 180 degree. From here, I want to find out A plus B, so I will take X to the other side. So we have A plus B is equal to 180 degree minus X. Okay, this will be a useful result. We will keep it as it is and use it in the future. Okay. Now I will take the big triangle that is a triangle ABC and apply angle sum property to that triangle. So in triangle ABC, we can say that angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180 degree. Angle A is 180 minus 2A. So I will substitute it here 180 minus 2A. Angle B is a 90 degree angle. So it's 90 degree plus angle C will be 180 minus 2B. So it's 180 minus 2B. This is equal to 180. And now from both the sides, we can cancel out one of the 180s, right? Yes. And then uh, here we have 180 plus 90. We can add them up. So it will become 270. So we have 270 minus 2A minus 2B equal to zero. We have zero on the right hand side because we have nothing over there. Now I have 270. I will take minus 2 common from the next two terms. So we have minus 2 times a plus b is equal to 0. We do know the value of a plus b, right? We have just found out the value of a plus b in terms of x. So a plus b is equal to 180 minus x. I will substitute it over there. So we have 270 minus 2 times a plus b will be 180 minus x 
equal to zero. I will open the bracket now. I, I will multiply two inside the bracket so that we have 270 minus two times 180 will be minus 360 minus two times minus x will be plus 2x equal to zero. Now 270 minus 360 will be minus 90 plus 2x equal to zero. Now we have to just solve this simple equation and find out the value of x here. We'll take minus 90 to the right side so that we have 2x is equal to plus 90. So from here x will be equal to 90 upon 2 that will be equal to 45 degrees. Okay, so the value of x is 45 degrees which means the value of this angle over here is 45 degrees. Okay, so that's where we can stop and I hope all of you enjoyed the solution. For more such interesting videos, kindly subscribe to my channel and do watch my videos. I will see you in the next video.